Whatever it takes. Yeah. That's our company slogan. Whatever it takes, get it done. Absolutely. Yeah. Get her done. to take a look at SQ4D's houses that they were building. First time we went, they were in the process of building a home for Habitat for Humanity. Second time we went, we wanted to see their progress. At the same time, I wanted to bring a couple of my business partners to take a look at the machine in person. At the same time, talk to Sal, talk, check, check out the team, look at their R&D development, so that I can rally up some support behind what we're doing here. the first 3D printed home to be sold on the market. And we just met the owners. They're very happy about their place. So we don't want to bother them too much, but just to give you a general idea of what it looks like on the outside. Back in New York to look at this product from SQ4D. This is a home printed by SQ4D, and uh, we have some very exciting announcements coming up, so stay tuned. We're gonna go to right, your headquarters, right, now, headquarters right? now, right? Now, we're going to headquarters. Go check this thing out. Yeah. All right, so we're here at SQ4D. This is Kristen, SQ4D CTO, and we actually, you just submitted two patents last night, right? Yes, that's correct. So we did one last night. Uh, we're currently in possession of some good IP here at SQ4D. So we have uh, the patent on stacking concrete in a rectangular fashion um, with a rectangular nozzle. And then we also have the patent on the whole process for 3D printing. So that's printing the entire house going from the subterranean footings all the way up to the walls and even the roof. A lot of companies just do certain aspects of the printing project, but at SQ4D, we're really focused on printing as much of the house as possible. And the patent covers that whole process. And you said a uh, square instead of yes. round. Yep. So most exactly. of the printed beads are round. Yes, at, most in the industry, now. exactly. Okay. And how difficult is it to get a square bead? So getting the square bead is really important because then there's no wasted material and you're also stacking very cleanly on top of each other. And that's why our nozzle actually turns as it creates those layers. Um, so it's just kind of an extra step in the printing process to perfect. Mm -hmm. And you're talking about from footing to walls, uh, what is the percentage of the house SQ4D's machines printing? We are over 50% on a cost basis of the percent of the house actually 3D printed and with the addition of the roof that will be even higher. Okay, all right, so we're looking forward to it. One of SQ4D's machines in California either late this year or early next year. Yes. So right. we're gonna be bringing this to California. You guys will see live demonstrations on a few more projects actually. So keep posted. All right, I will show you guys what SQ4D can do. To get something off the ground, you can never do it by yourself. And what I foresee this 3D printing company being is this is a great opportunity, but at the same time, we need a lot of support to get this off the ground. <laughs> 